Hi, YouTubers. Phoenix Talon back again. I know, we're in seven days to die. Isn't that amazing? It's like I don't ever play anything else. Anyway, um, I wanted to show something off real quick. So, it's uh, for me, it's Father's Day. And if you don't know, I'm hanging out here. I got my boy right here. Not sure what that... You're just kind of chilling, huh? Well, okay. They're, they're, they're listening. Happy Father Day! <laughs> hey, there you go. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, that's my kid right there. <laughs> All right. Anyway, my wife made me this awesome card. And it's got this raised lettering on it, and if or numbering. And if you don't know binary, what it is, is it's in lowercase. In lowercase, it spells D A D. Yeah, so dad. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then you know, Happy Father's Day on the inside. Um, my wife makes some amazing uh, cards like this. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link her channel in the uh, description, you know, below in the description thing. And then you can go over there and look at it. Now, if you're kind of like a geek like me, then you appreciate, you know, a binary dad card. Um, you know, I've seen those in like, you know, the t-shirts and things. And actually, she got me one of those too. So I feel pretty lucky. Um, the other thing is that she also makes like different types of cards now. Like some of them are kind of geek and some of them are not. And some of them are real flowery and awesome. And anyway, just go check her out. Send her a couple of likes, even if you... You know, just if you respect me, go do it for me. I appreciate it. And if you like her stuff, go ahead and subscribe. So thank you. Anyway, back to seven days to die. All right. So um, I was on the forge and I made one of these cooking grills. Uh, where it go? There it is. Because uh, I want to make some food while it's uh, nighttime, obviously. And, um, you know, I was thinking about, you know, getting some of these things set up so I could move them. Now, obviously, we're going to leave these two behind. But I'm not going to, uh, there we go, see? Now I can make big potatoes. See, that's how you do. That's how you do. So I wanted to see what the different things were going to be. So we're going to cook one of those. We're going to cook one of those. Um, what else was we going to make? We want to make some cornbread. So I want to get some, I need to get some cornmeal. Um, and I think you have to craft cornmeal, right? Um corn recipes corn meal yeah see uh, so let's go ahead and we'll craft just a couple of those maybe five also what I did was I went and got all the other building supplies that we would need to continue building I think this is going to be a building episode crafting and building because there's a lot of stuff I don't remember how to do and uh, gosh that's already done all right let's turn that off real quick all right, so let's look at these. All right, so baked potato is fullness four, which is good because it's easy to grow baked potato or potatoes, and it's and they grow in plentiful amounts. So this would be a really good easy food to make, and it's um, and it's good. Uh, the corn on the cob, however, fullness stamina, well, well, wellness, yeah, but only 0.08, so it's not great. So let's make a cornbread here. Let's see what that does for me. And I forgot what bacon and eggs were. So, you know, gosh darn it. I'm going to go get the, the bacon and egg stuff that we need. So we'll grab one of those and two of those. Um, and then we'll come back to that and we'll do a comparison. And we'll find out how this all looks. So bacon and eggs. Go ahead and cook that. So cornbread is fullness five. So what did cornbread take? It took another bottle of water, just like the, here. All right, oh, whoops, I forgot to turn that off. Always turn off your stove when you're done. All right, um, let's see, blueberry pie. We have that in the case. Uh, meat stew, we got some of that. Vegetable stew, I'm not gonna make any because we don't have any mushrooms. See, they really need to make mushrooms. That's, that's why. Yeah, mushrooms. I, I can go find some, but it's not a reliable food source because they don't just grow. They need to make it to where you can go and just grow it. That would be good. Um, yeah, I don't really think there's anything else we can make. So let's just go do a comparison and see, you know, what's easy to make and what do we have. Okay, so 
a normal here let's put this back because we don't need that right now all right so we got our meat stew what else do we got here that we can make blueberry pie all right so let's compare so meat stew is fullness 20 uh, health 5 which is good wellness you get a lot of wellness from it but it makes you hot so I don't like that all right this one is fullness 10 wellness 0.8 so that's not much but it doesn't smell either this smells so it can't really take it with us so much unless we're just you know, unless we're just BA and then we're walking around like we own the place, you know, and then that's different. But it makes you hot. So this would be good to take with us in a, a snow biome, right? All right, uh, cornmeal, I don't think you can just eat that. Well, I guess you could. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess you could. All right, so baked potatoes, four, we already talked about that. Um, this is fullness three, the corn on the cob. Cornbread is fullness five and bacon and eggs fullness 15 so it's more it's still more healthy for you than blueberry pie but not as healthy as the meat stew so yeah what are blueberries in fullness one all right well man it's just there's no balance to this is there there's no getting around it. I think blueberry pie is probably one of the easiest ones to make because it only needs one egg, one cornmeal. Um, wait, hold on. No, it was one cornbread, wasn't it? Hold on. I got that. All right, one blueberry pie is okay. One blueberry, one egg, one cornmeal, and one bottle of water, and that gives fullness ten. Bacon and eggs is two eggs, one meat. It, it really is almost better to just make the meat stew to have at the uh, residence, you know, at the base, and have the blueberry pie for traveling almost because we're going to have to use the eggs for something, and we don't use the eggs for meat stew. So that's probably what we'll end up doing. So let's go ahead and put all those back. In the meantime, however, I got a lot of potatoes, so I can make some baked potatoes to just have on hand. Wait, baked potatoes, right? And I don't know, hold on, what am I doing here? Uh, you know what, we're gonna build because I need to need to organize this stuff. This is redonkulous, this is redonkulous. So let's just grab some of these potatoes and off to the side like let's go ahead and cook some of those up so baked potato uh i got 41 so 41. cook cook good and it doesn't really require anything to cook you know all right so there so we'll cook those up um because potatoes, I'm growing like crazy amounts of potatoes right now. All right, I uh, just got to remember that when we go to the other place, I don't have anything in there, no. When we go to go to start loading up, we don't want to forget the stuff in here or the stuff in here, right? Because these tools, oh, I don't have a thing here. We're gonna have to go find one of those. Probably in the tool store, the one I need to go to. Oh man, I don't feel like another excursion right now. I feel like building. I want to build something. I need to I need to get all this at my base, you know? I need to get all this at my base. There we go. That's what I got to do. I got to get all this at the base. I don't really feel like an excursion right now. That's kind of cool lighting effect. And then uh, this is uh, Bob. Bob the roommate right here. You know, Bob the corpse. Because uh, said, oh, nobody's home. Bam. There he is, right? <laughs> anyway, long story on that one. All right. So we're just going to kind of, oh, let's see here. Yeah, we are going to build stuff. That's what we're going to do. So let's figure out what we need here. We've got choices to make out there. Um... I want to make sort of a landing up there, so we'll go ahead and get, we need to get some of these rolling. Uh, let's get, 
maybe let's get maybe 10 of those going for now just until we figure out what we're gonna do I know I'm gonna need wedges of these or ramps I know I need a lot of those so let's get 20 of those put put down all right uh, we already got a few of these blocks the white blocks but I'm gonna need a lot more of those so let's do 30 of those yeah this is why we went and resource gathered people this is why you do this <laughs> um, where's the ramps there we go I don't know if I need any ramps right off the bat and we still haven't figured out what we're gonna do the ceiling in if we're gonna do um, you know shingles or if we're gonna do um, yeah, we still have to decide what we're going to do. So for now, we're just building the walls. But, you know, it's like they say, you know, to build walls, you need a foundation. We got the foundation. To build a roof, you need the walls. We don't have the walls. So we need walls. All right, people, let's build some walls. So let's do this. We'll get these rolling. They're already building. Good. Let's go get our potatoes. Those are done. Turn off our oven. Hey, 42. Right on. <laughs> nice. I better eat one. Mmm, yummy. Alright, so if they do four each, so. Wait, what? Okay, so four. So is it four percent they do each? No, that's a hundred right there. Maybe they do five percent each. Eh. Either way, that filled us up pretty good. That did fill us up pretty good. So that's not bad. I'll make a. I thought I was making more of these. Oh, I am. Okay, it's just taking forever on these. Oh, and then while I'm thinking about it, oh, Ms. V, my ever-present uh, boot in the old backside, telling me about what I need to level up. She's right, though. You know, she's right. Uh, quality Joe, she said. So add 25, 50, or 100 quality points to the items per can only be purchased. So she said buy this one. So we got that. I have 70 more points available. Why? What do I need? Scavenging 60. Well, I could do that. All right. Quality Joe. Here we go. All right, cool. So with scavenging at level 60, it's a higher percentage chance for better loot, uh, gain skill by opening untouched containers. Okay, so quality Joe is now maxed out. So 10, 25, so 100 quality points to whatever was found. So we should be good. Um, miscellaneous crafting is gonna increase on its own. Mining tools probably increase on its own. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, tailoring. Uh, craft plant cloth faster. I uh, nah. uh, tool smithing. This one we might want. We got treasure hunter weapon smithing. That's going up on its own. All right, let's see tool smithing. Repair penalties. Let's pick. Uh, yeah, I I don't know. I don't think we need that yet. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, wait, hold on. This is all skills. All right, back to the beginning. All right, the survivor. Uh, slows your metabolism. You don't need to eat as often. Yes, we needed that one, she said. I think that's what she said, right? Level 10. Yeah, don't need to eat as often. Gain more wellness. Yeah, that's right. All right. Um, run. Uses less stamina. I think she said that one was a good one. Or what was it? Camp? No, there was there a temperature one. Sexual thing. Sorry. Regain stamina. Uh, wellness. Raises your maximum wellness ten points per rank. Um. Maybe it was the camel. Slows your thirst. That's it. That's it. Uh, so we're gonna spend. Um, and regain, oh, uh, 
We've been, we've been thirsty a lot lately, so let's do that. Okay, great. So now, everybody leave me alone about the dang skill points. I've used them all except for three of them. Get, just let me have my three points, okay? Okay, okay. <sighs> all right, so did a whole bunch of housekeeping there, if you will. And we should be good to go. Good to go, good to go. GTG. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And eat another one. What am I doing? There we go. And drink. Drink. Me another drink. Here, you know what? We'll just get the drinks from here. No reason to spend, spend on the drinks that we got. There we go. Whew. Okay. So, whoop. I meant to go in here so I could find out. All right, 100%, 100%. Wellness, 126. Level 41. So close, so close. Feels like temperature stand down. That's good. Good enough. All right. I don't look awesome yet, but we will. Yes, we will. Mark my words, people. We will. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and... I think, you know, it's close enough to the end of the night. We could, uh... Stand to go in here. So let's go over here and go take a look at what we've got. All right. Um, yeah. I think we're safe. Famous last words and all. <laughs> all right. So I think I've made a decision on what I want to do here. All right. Um,. While I do want some windows, I don't think windows are going to be practical because I'd have to remove part of this here, right? So that's kind of the thing I'm looking at. The other thing too is I need more floor space. So these are going to end up to be all floor. It's all going to be floor. Um, I don't need, nor do I want you know, a way to see under the floor. I don't need it. I just don't. I've got this right here. And they're all going to come right here. We've proven that. We've proven that they'll come here. There's no reason to have anything else. So, what we're going to do is we're going to chop these down. Because these are ramps, aren't they? Yeah, they are ramps. So, we're we'll chop these. Yeah. So, we we'll chop these down. Good. All right. And then I think it was these were ramps on this side. Yep, they are. Good. <laughs> I should have probably check before I started chopping, right? All right. All right. So we got those out of the way. Boom. All right. Nice. So let's go ahead and we need to build more of these wood frames then. Uh, I'd say probably 40 of those. All right. And then these, we'll pick all these up. Oh, wow. Almost. All right. There we go. Woo. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and fill this in. Now, I should be okay on the gap here because it's the same as this bridge thingy here. So we should be okay. And then the idea here, I think, oh, see, it's already morning time. Look at that. Awesome. So now the idea here is that all of this will be all open space, all of it. And that's important, I think. Oh, and I, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, see, I told you I got the crops. But one of the things I wanted to try is I wanted to see... I, I, I think somebody said it doesn't work. But I wanted to try it anyway. And I just took the top off of this one to see if it would grow back. So we'll wait. And I mean, it's only one out of, you know, a row of 25. So 24 will still grow normally. But what I'm thinking is, is that we'll wait and see these grow up full... And if this grows at all, great. If it doesn't, 
okay, you know, what have we lost but one plot? Okay, so not bad. And then we just got all our blueberries and potatoes growing as normal, just like we were doing before. So uh, nothing, nothing's changed there. All right, so no, no real big difference there. I just wanted to point it out that that was a that was a change that I was working on. So, um, but other than that, like I said, I, I spent that entire day uh, prior to the day before. I spent that entire day just uh, just going out and uh, uh, getting stuff that we needed. All right, so this is gonna look really nice, I think. Part of me was wanting to do something kind of fun. I think... Because this area right here... I think... I think... I want to do like a, a thing that comes out. But I got to figure out how I want to do this part here. I think these are going to be my window. No, because I need that. See, I don't know. I think I want to come just straight out, like from this center block here. But I want it to look good, too, you know? I don't want it to just look haphazard. Hmm. i to think about that. But I want to leave that out so that we can mark that. Oh, why that didn't build? Okay, there we go. I might have had the wrong one selected. <laughs> and then I do want to build some kind of a frame or something around the farm. There we go. So if, we, if we're going to go out on that side, then I want to go out on this side too. I think that's right. Is that the right one? That should be this one. Yeah, okay. Um, I want to build some kind of frame around the farm, you know? Um, but I want it to look good. And I'm thinking if I want to build this out of the same type of thing as this here, you know? If I want to just have it go... Or we could have this be the adobe, the outer, this outer part here. Oh, you know what? That would look really nice because then that would be the block up and then the block over and then the block inside. I think that would look really sweet, actually. I think that would look really nice. I think, that, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. But uh, I also want something going off the backside of this, I think, um, to look out kind of like that one is over there. So um, let's go ahead and see what that is going to look like. So I might need a lot more of these than I thought. But let's get this one started because I know at least up to this point, I wonder how that would look. Let's, let's go ahead and get that up to this point here. So I need a couple of the pointed ones, the pointy pointies. Uh, why, oh, there they go full corner oh because you got the ramp corner I'm not doing any ramp oh are we how would that look oh like the corner that's how I did it over there so we gotta get rid of that anyway okay so we need the ramp corners and let's build about three or four of those all right we already got some ramps going on we're probably gonna need more of these now now that I look at it 20 and well let's build it and see what happens all right um get rid of those that and put that in there all right um and there i think that's right there we go now we need that one that one there and then and then there all right so that should be what I'm trying to build here 
so we're not sure about that one yet. So we're not sure about that one yet. So let's. And uh, that, nah, nah. it had to be the last one. <laughs> I think this is gonna look really nice, and I think it's gonna look great when it's all built. Uh oh, there we go. Almost didn't place that one correctly. And then, oh, too many. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that'll look nice. And like I said, I, I, I kind of wanted windows, but I don't know that the windows will do me any good. And that's why I want to have this open area here. And I've already got this open area here because, see, I can look out everywhere. And if I really need to, I can get up on the edge here. And that was kind of the whole point of this. And I think, yeah, see? So if I really need to, I can get outside. And then that's why I want to have sort of a thing here that goes out. So that should be this piece going out. Here, let's do that. Um, is that the right way? I don't think that's the right way. I probably got that all kinds of wrong. Yeah, that's not right. Man, it's so hard to tell, you know? There, I think that's the right one. I think that's the right one. Alright, so that... Should... Wait, hold on. That should go out... Yeah, like that. That's right. I hear something. Is there another zombie over here somewhere? See, that's why I want the lookout, so I can see stuff like this. I hear something. Oh, look at that. Little uh, little mini hoard or something over here. <laughs> that was a great shot. Oh, right there. <laughs> it's awesome. 